Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the video. So today I have another Deal Universe Lua scripting tutorial with you guys. And so in this video we're going to be going over delays. Now I know there's a lot of you that have been waiting for me to make a video um, going over delays. And so uh, this also took me a while to make because I needed to also play around and figure out different ways of setting up delays. Um, but um there's two ways I'm going to show you guys how to make a delay and then this is only the the, type, the ways that I could figure out to make a delay because Lua doesn't by default um, have a delay built in so usually on if you um, like because um, in dual universe it's a little bit harder to make a delay function because um, usually you get the, the OS um, clock time and then you use that um, in your function uh, or your, in your sleep or wait function whatever you call it uh, to then make a delay uh, function that way but because we can't really get the time it's a little bit harder um, but um, this is the only two ways that I could find uh, that's the easiest uh, to make uh, to set up by delay uh, so yeah, so with that said, um, this is my first example. So if I click this button here, it opens my door, it turns on my light, and then after a, a few seconds, the delay thing um, turns on, as you guys saw, and then it closes the door and turns off the light. And so the only the the, the way you need to set this up is pretty easy. You just place down your delay line uh, near whatever door or whatever you want to uh, turn off. Uh, after a few seconds <laughs> and so all you need to do is from the uh, from the button you connect it up to the delay and then from the delay you connect it up to the door and as you can see I have all of my other stuff connected to my programming board and so um, yeah so that is uh, the one way you can set up a delay using a delay line and so the next one is by doing it with timers um, so if you guys didn't know if you press ctrl L it will automatically open the Lua editor for you so you don't have to right, right click on the programming board and going to advance and then yeah 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 so that just takes a little bit of time um, but that is something that I recently found out and so on my button I'm not actually gonna go over most of this stuff because I have made a video before uh, going over how to set up a door and make it toggleable so I'm not gonna go over this but um, I'm just going to quickly show you guys in my unit, if I come over here to update door state. In here it's precisely the same thing that I have in my door toggle thing. Uh, but here I also, I still get the, the door's current state. And this is how I turn off my light and turn it, the light on, depending on if the door is open or closed. Uh, so that is how I did that. And so the next thing that I'll show you guys is how to actually... Uh, make a delay using timers. So let me quickly show you guys what I mean. So I'm just going to uncomment this so I can quickly show you. So if I now turn this off and I turn it on, you guys will see this, li this light turns on and after a few seconds it should turn off and then turn this one on. And then it is um, supposed to be like in a loop so sometimes it does take a little bit longer but then as you guys can see it just this is just going to continue on and it's and it's um, currently going to wait two seconds um i think that's what i set it up uh, every two seconds um or one second i can't remember <laughs> what i set it to but every one or two seconds uh these two will turn on and off um and so uh with that uh, let me quickly show you guys how I have this uh, all set up. So if I uh, quickly go in here again and I come over here to unit and I go to start. So the first thing that you need to do is in your unit, um, in the start function, you need to come anywhere in wherever, if you don't have anything in here or if you already have stuff, just put it anywhere uh, you, you want. But then you want to create a timer. So usually just unit or set timer and then the name of your timer and then how many times or how many uh, every second do you want it to uh, tick or update 
uh, and so and then you want to add a filter here and you want to add uh, a tick here and so and then you also name it the same as you did here and then inside of here uh, because I have two set up here and then I have it sort of set up to loop uh, you guys will see I have here on the top um, whenever because I can quickly show you guys on this one I start uh, my delay one after it did all of this and then in here it stops uh, delay two and then does this so this makes it to where it sort of uh, lo loops around um, so of this um, this is how you can then uh, sort of set up a timer uh, uh, to where even here um, so I can make this um, five seconds and then over here I can make it um, to where um, this um, ticks every three seconds uh, and so uh, let's quickly uh, do that so I'm gonna make this to five also and then if I click apply now if I click activate and we go one two three four five and then one two three and then as you can see that one turn on and then after five seconds again this should turn off and then this one should turn on sometimes it takes a little bit longer I don't know why um but yeah so hopefully we see this one turn off and this one turn on again sometimes it is a little bit buggy like I said before to where it takes uh, it stays on longer than it's actually supposed to um so let me just see if it is, this actually turns on and off let me just go in here and make sure I'm not getting any errors so it's just supposed to okay so it did turn it off uh, it did turn off delay one but then it deactivated yes and then it activated light three and over here um, it's supposed to turn on light one or delay one and in here it's supposed to turn off uh, delay two and then activate um, the second light and then deactivate light three and then it just starts stop again over and over and over but for some reason it's stuck on this one light now so if I redo it let, let's see if it actually uh, goes through but you, but, uh, but you guys are supposed to oh, but you guys get the uh, the point uh, what I'm getting at um, and so yeah this is the the basic way of of setting up with the lay so let's say you just want to um, let's quickly do this um, so if I qu click it come over here and I um, comment this out and let's quickly make a new tick and then let's say this uh, open a door and so in here in start I'm gonna basically just copy this let's make it after five seconds um, we want the door to open so all I'm gonna do is uh, you set the timer like this and then here in open door we're gonna come over here and we're gonna say uh, door dot uh, activate and then down here you want to stop the timer so unit dot uh, stop timer and then the timer's name so this is going to be open door like so and now if we um, start this what it will do is we'll it will uh, count it will start after five seconds and then it will uh, start ticking and then it will activate the door and then immediately shut uh, uh, turn the timer off so if we click apply and we activate this one two three four five and you should see this turn on and now it's going to stay on because uh, we didn't tell it to close after um, a few seconds and also because the delay line is not directly connected um, to the programming board so we can't really uh, tell um, the, prog the delay to 
close the door again so all i need to do is click here and it will close and there you go see um the light also turns off so um yeah i think uh this is gonna do it um that's gonna do it for this video guys um so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys uh, found this useful um so this is the only f uh, two ways that i could find uh, to set up a quick delay uh, for certain things um so um yeah if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one